How you can avoid jackknifing your trailer, next on Now You Know. So one of the hardest parts about driving a trailer is backing up. You have this inverted pendulum, you're essentially dri you're balancing a broomstick with the back of your car. It's more complicated than just moving your hand. So in this episode, we're going to show you a hack that's going to really help backing up in the Tesla Model X. So first things first, the really helpful thing here are these lines. I kind of imagine it as a rudder. As someone who has gone boating before, um, you know, you want to push the rudder in the opposite direction that you want to go in. And so you're basically thinking of these lines as a big rudder that is just a little bit harder to turn than on a regular boat. And so what you're trying to do when you're backing up, if you're trying to back up straight, is to keep the trailer in a perfect line with your car, which is of course impossible, which means that you need to constantly be correcting. The opposite thing happens when you're driving in a straight line. The trailer will perfectly follow behind you, making a perfectly straight line. And that's really useful because that sort of gives you an indication on what the straight line will look like. So then when you start to back up, if you add any little bit of imperfection in that, it will start to, to uh, process start to get even worse and worse and worse and pretty soon it's going to jackknife and that's dangerous because that could damage your car and the trailer and well it's just not a good thing that you want to have happen and you see that in with not a lot of distance we were able to jackknife the trailer just by not putting in the correct input so i'm going to pull ahead again we're going to try and uh, do the same thing and we're going to do the opposite of the correct thing so I'm gonna start going back. I'm gonna give it a little bit of inconsistency here. It's gonna to start to jackknife. Now, you're in, your first thought might be, well, maybe I should turn this way. That is the absolute wrong thing to do. You're gonna make the jackknife worse. So again, it's thinking about the rudder, thinking about how to correct for something like that. And you see that now I'm centering it back the way that I want it. Let's say we're starting from a non straight on position and I want to back up straight. You can see that the trailer is a little bit off to the side. If I turn this way, I'm going to start to push the trailer towards straight. Then I can sort of straighten out my wheel and back up. No problem. Now you see it's starting to drift that way. If I steer that way, it'll fix that problem. And we can back up like this all day long. It's just a matter of uh, making sure you don't hit anything, A, and B, making sure that you're not drifting too far off course. But right now, I'm gonna show you a hack that's gonna make backing up in a straight line much, much easier. So the first step in this trick is that you want to find a nice big open space. You wanna set your wheel to just about perfectly straight forward. And you wanna go forward until you see that the trailer has basically come within line of your car. Now you wanna stop, and here's where the fun part begins. I'm gonna take this. You may recognize this from school, right? This is a, you know, the overhead projector slides that your teacher would have. You can buy the exact same things, put these right onto your car. So I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a datum by sliding this over to the right, because we don't want this to slide around. Uh, they don't fit perfectly, but if you slide it over all the way over to the right, now what you can do is make marks for yourself, very helpful marks. So I'm gonna take this blue Sharpie, and you can use whatever marker you want, or anything basically that will that will make a mark on this and we're doing this so that way we're not putting a mark on your actual screen again this is a <laughs> this is a piece of plastic that we're putting on your screen here so we know that the trailer is in perfect line with the car because we've driven straight for quite a distance so what i'm going to do here is draw a perfectly straight line uh, from the ball hitch itself because that's our fulcrum and i'm going to draw it back along the arm of our trailer here. And you don't have to be 100% accurate. This is just to give us some idea. So now when I go backwards, I'll notice a lot sooner if I am trending off of perfectly straight back. So that will allow me to correct. I can either say, oh, well, I should pull forward because I want to be facing the right direction. Or I can start to make corrections to keep us going perfectly straight. So if I start to fade in that direction, I can fix it and I can fix it at a pretty quick speed because I'm just trying to keep that line lined up with our trailer. 
So this is helpful if you're starting from a non straight on position, especially because now you can see, okay, where is my straight? How can I get back to being straight on with the trailer? And then as soon as you hit that, you can straighten out and, f and uh, follow the car right behind the trailer in a perfectly straight line back. Another little friendly tip here is that if you uh, zoom in very far on your map up here, you'll actually kind of get an understanding of where you are in the parking lot, um, which can be very, very helpful, especially if you turn on your satellite view, because then you'll know roughly where the islands might be. Um, and the, the cool thing is that your car is pretty accurate. So like if I, if I take this island right here, if I turn around this island, you'll notice that it is pretty darn accurate to where I am. And that's gonna give me a much better understanding of, of what's going on around my trailer uh, if I don't have that as, as the case. So in the next episode, I'm gonna show you how we can use this exact same system to help us avoid jackknifing when we're backing up and trying to park in a harder to park spot. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know. We work hard to bring you videos about things that we think you'll find useful, but we need to know from you what you want to see, so leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to go over to our Patreon page, where for as little as a buck a month, you can watch our Patreon bonus story every week on Tesla Time News. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.